Hello students I'm Dr Seema Singh and you're watching my channel Bonding with Chemistry In today's video I'll take up the topic some important chemicals that are obtained from common salt I'll be taking two such chemicals namely sodium hydroxide and bleaching powder in this video and the remaining two that are baking soda and washing soda in my upcoming videos This topic is quite significant from exam point of view as most of the time there is a reasoning question from here especially these two compounds so stay tuned to my channel by hitting the bell icon for latest updates and please subscribe to it in case you haven't these are the list of topics that i've already covered in my previous videos in case you want to go through any of these you can click on the link provided in the description box below before we come to the compounds that can be obtained from common salt Let us briefly recall our basic knowledge about common salt which is also known as table salt with chemical name sodium chloride. By now you must be aware that one of the methods of obtaining sodium chloride is by the neutralization of hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. Since NaCl is formed by the combination of a strong acid and a strong base it is neutral in nature with pH equal to 7. Common salt can be obtained from this reaction by removing water by simple method of evaporation. The iodized salt that we use in our home contain a small amount of iodine which is added to NaCl to prevent the occurrence of a disease known as goiter with which I'm sure you are familiar. Salt also played a very vital role in our struggle for freedom. You must have heard as well as read in your history books about the famous Dandi march also known as salt march or salt satyagraha which was led by the father of nation mahatma gandhi for commercial purpose or on large scale nacl can be obtained by the following two methods number 1 from sea water and second from underground deposits you must be aware that sea water is the major source of sodium chloride where nacl is present in the dissolved form along with other soluble salts such as chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium it is separated from these by applying suitable methods for instance the sea water is trapped in large shallow ponds and then allowed to stand there the sun evaporates the water slowly and common salt along with other impurities is left behind thereafter the mixture is purified to get nacl which is white crystalline solid coming on to underground deposits deposits of solid salt are found in several parts of the world these large crystals are often brown in color due to impurities and are known as rock salt in hindi it is known as the sindha namak beds of rock salts were formed when seas that existed a very long time ago you can call it bygone ages dried up since these are underground deposits they are mined just like coal now coming on to some important chemicals that can be obtained from nacl nacl serves as a raw material for the manufacture of chemicals such as sodium hydroxide bleaching powder baking soda and washing soda as mentioned earlier i'll take up these two compounds in my upcoming video beginning with sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is commonly known as caustic soda where the word caustic means burning and caustic soda takes its name from the way it can burn the skin on coming in contact with it it has the formula naoh and it is a very strong base the ph of one molar solution of sodium hydroxide is equal to 14 it is also called as lye please note that this lye spelled as l y e is different from the word l i e lye it is a white ionic solid consisting of sodium cations and hydroxide anions it is available in the form of granules pellets as well as flakes coming on to its preparation now dear learners please note that this reaction is very important from your exam point of view in this reaction when electric current or electricity is passed through aqueous solution of sodium chloride which is also known as brine you get sodium hydroxide along with hydrogen and chlorine so sodium hydroxide is the main product whereas hydrogen and chlorine are known as by products as they are formed along with the main products now hydrogen is produced at cathode whereas chlorine is released at the anode and sodium hydroxide is obtained near cathode this process which is majorly used for industrial manufacture of sodium hydroxide is known as 
the chlor alkali process because of the formation of the products chlorine so you have the word chloroform chlorine and alkali because you get sodium hydroxide which is soluble in water and hence is a strong alkali so alkali form sodium hydroxide in fact these two are the common products that are required by various industries this is the schematic representation of chlor alkali process where saturated solution of brine along with water are fed into the cell on passing electricity hydrogen is produced at the cathode whereas chlorine is released at the anode sodium hydroxide is produced near cathode as shown here my dear students this diagram is not a part of cbse class 10th current syllabus you need not learn it it is only for helping you understand the process easily now all these three products are extremely useful let us learn some of the uses of each one of them i would concentrate on only those uses that are mentioned in ncert textbook let us begin with hydrogen hydrogen finds use as liquid fuel in spacecraft propulsion you will read about fuel cell in your higher classes it is also used in the manufacture of margarine yes the spread which is used as a substitute for butter one of the largest use of hydrogen is in the manufacture of ammonia having formula nh3 which is used as fertilizer coming on to the uses of chlorine chlorine is used as an important chemical for water purification such as in water treatment plants chlorine is usually used in different forms to kill bacteria and other microbes in drinking water supplies and public swimming pools in fact one can easily recognize chlorine gas by its pungent irritating odor which is like the odor of bleach it also finds use in disinfectants pesticides and in bleach it is also used in the manufacture of pvc polyvinyl chloride a polymer about which you will study in higher classes which is used in the manufacture of pipes and as well as flooring also chlorine is used in the manufacture of cfcs which stands for chlorofluorocarbons probably you have heard about the role of cfcs in ozone depletion and the resultant ban on them now coming on to the uses of sodium hydroxide which is frequently used as an industrial cleaning agent for decreasing metals it is often called as caustic when it is used as cleaning agent in industries it can dissolve grease oil fats and protein based deposits therefore it is used in homes as a type of drain opener to unblock clogged drains it dissolves greases to produce water soluble products it also hydrolyzes the proteins such as those found in hair which may block water pipes you must have heard or seen the use of drainix used to unblock water pipes of sinks at homes one of its main constituent is sodium hydroxide which makes its composition highly alkaline as you can read here sodium hydroxide is also used in the manufacture of soaps and detergents any of which also finds a major use in paper making as well as in the making of artificial fibers these were the individual uses of the three products formed from electrolysis of common salt these products can combine with each other to give other useful compounds for example the direct combination of hydrogen and chlorine gives hydrogen chloride gas which when passed through water gives hydrochloric acid and this acids finds use in cleaning steel in production of ammonium chloride and for regulating ph in medicines and cosmetics similarly chlorine and sodium hydroxide combine together to give sodium hypochlorite with formula naocl it is commonly known as liquid bleach or simply bleach which is used for cleaning purposes in houses as well as bleaching fabrics for instance the rin whitener that is commonly called as ala has sodium hypochlorite and sodium hydroxide as its main constituent you can read over here moving on to the next chemical compound that is obtained from common salt the bleaching powder it is a white solid although commercial samples may appear yellow or yellowish white in color it has a strong characteristic smell of chlorine gas and is represented as caocl2 students please note that it is different from calcium chloride with formula cacl2 you have oxygen here in fact the actual composition of bleaching powder is quite complex 
and will be dealt with in higher classes. It is also known as calcium oxychloride, calcium hypochlorite or chloride of lime. Coming on to its preparation, chlorine gas produced in the chloralkali process that we studied earlier acts on dry slaked lime which is calcium hydroxide to give rise to bleaching powder and water as the products. Moving on to the uses of bleaching powder. It is one of the most useful bleaching agents particularly in textile and paper industries. I am sure you are aware what bleaching means. It means to whiten or lighten color or to remove stains. Thus it is used to bleach cotton and linen in textile industries, wood pulp in paper industries and wash clothes in laundries. It is also used as an oxidizing agent in several chemical industries. Also it finds use as a disinfectant for drinking water making it germ free. I am sure you will be able to answer these simple NCRT questions correctly. What is the common name of calcium oxychloride? Bleaching powder? Name the substance which on treatment with chlorine yields bleaching powder. So the substance is calcium hydroxide or slaked lime with formula CaOH whole twice. I would summarize this video by taking up a NCRT exemplar question which says in one of the industrial processes used for the manufacture of sodium hydroxide. So they are talking about chloralkali process. A gas X is formed as byproduct. Now you know two gases are formed. One is hydrogen and the other is chlorine. Let's read further. The gas X reacts with lime water. So what is your lime water? Calcium hydroxide, CaOH whole twice. To give a compound Y which is used as a bleaching agent in chemical industry. So you know this bleaching agent is going to be your bleaching powder. Identify X and Y giving the chemical equation of the reaction involved. So since the gas X reacts with lime water, so it is not hydrogen but chlorine. So your X is equal to chlorine gas and Y is going to be your bleaching powder with formula CaOCl2. Give the chemical equations involved. So these are the two chemical equations that are going to be involved. First one is your chloralkali process and second is your preparation of bleaching powder. With this, I come to the end of this video. If you liked my video, do please give it a thumbs up. In my next video, I will continue with the remaining two important chemicals obtained from common salt, namely baking soda and washing soda. So stay tuned to my channel, please subscribe to it and above all, if you feel this video can help any learner perform better, kindly share. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay bonded my dear learners.